Hello everyone and welcome to my tips and tricks series for Battlefield 1 and today we're going to be talking about the plane. Now if you want to know some more basic stuff about the plane I do have another video on that but in today's video we're going to be talking about some more advanced plane tips so it's best that you know the basics before we go into this. One of the first things we're going to be going over is some more of the advanced actual controls for planes. If you'd like to know the exact keys that correspond with this I recommend going to your settings and there should be a controls tab that you can then go to and there will be a diagram depicting exactly what these correspond to on your system of preference. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is free look. You activate this and what this allows you to do is freely look around. You can only activate this in first person, but nonetheless it does allow you to go about the battlefield and see what's up. Another control is the repair function. So unlike previous battlefields, you actually have to manually repair your plane in this game. Usually when you sustain enough damage, the game will actually prompt you that you should repair along with the key you should use. When repairing, you are not allowed to adjust your flight or really move at all and getting damage will actually cancel your current repair and with each repair you repair about 20 25 ish health or so another thing you can do is called chase cam aka the third person camera this is a toggle and while you are in this you can't enter the bombing camera you cannot zoom in with your weapon or free look but it does allow you to have a much greater field of visibility and overall be a lot more useful especially for air combat and finally swapping seats so on your screen, you should see the diagram of your plane and then corresponding with the different seats, there should be a button that you can press to then swap to that seat. But that about does it for the controls. Let's get a little bit more intricate with the planes and the fact that they have loadouts. The bomber has the barrage bomber, which comes with high explosive and demolition bomb. And it is good versus both infantry and vehicle. You have the firestorm bomber with incendiary and fragmentation bombs. Best versus infantry and comes with an emergency wing repairs and ability. Finally, the torpedo bomber, which comes with a torpedo best for taking out the dreadnought on coastal maps and a demolition bombs in addition to that it is best versus armored vehicles and also comes with the emergency wing repair after that the fighter has the dog fighter which comes with twin hmgs and a quick repair ability the bomb killer variant comes with twin hmgs specialized against the bombers and their higher durability a speed boost ability and six explosive rockets you can utilize in a barrage finally the fighter has the trench fighter which also comes with twin machine guns anti-personnel bombs making it a little bit of a bomber and a spotting flares that you can deploy every once in a while and the final plane is the attack which comes with ground support coming with an auto cannon eight frag bombs in a bombing run and spotting flares the tank hunter variant comes with a 37 millimeter nose cannon making this absolutely ridiculous but super fun to use and absolutely killer for tanks two high explosive bombs you can drop and emergency wing repairs finally we have the airship buster which comes with eight rockets and a salvo a single machine gun and a speed boost this thing of course specializes and taking out the airship. So just some general tips on top of all that. Unless you're in a bomber, chase cam is your best friend. I recommend using it almost all the time. If your plane can handle it, always try to have a gunner because that's just someone watching your back, especially if you're a bomber. If you're being tailed, a quick swap to the back seat can actually allow you to take out the person on your tail if you're quick enough. Make sure to kind of face upwards a little bit before you start repairing so that way you don't have to worry about your plane going down and crashing into the ground while you can't move. And also during turns, make sure to cut your engine or decelerate while turning for tighter turns this is good for maneuvering especially when you're being tailed but that about does it for the knowledge i have to share about planes if you'd like to see more tips and tricks like this i highly suggest you check out and subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash star snipe where i'm gonna be doing more tips and tricks videos just like this because i'm excited to make you the best battlefield player you can be i just love battlefield so much and i love sharing that love and making people see why this game is so awesome and hopefully all of you guys have yourselves an awesome day good luck flying the skies and i hope i I have a pilot like you covering my back when I'm fighting on the battlefield.